Alright, so my last live kind of didn't work. Um, I don't get, I guess, the best service in my driveway. Like Wi-Fi. So, I'm just going to have to do this here. And then smoke somewhere else. Honestly, I don't care what I look like or what my room looks like. So sorry, I'm not sorry. Um, oh gosh. My hair is just a mess. Anyway, I have a lot going on. Um, I... I totaled my Mercedes-Benz that I paid $10,000 for last year. Um, put these back on. I look more like a person. I don't know. I'm a wreck. So, anyway, um, I totaled my car last year. And uh, my blood sugar was 99. This is my CBD pen. I literally totaled my car and then um, since the police department are so uneducated, they're so uneducated about diabetes that they ran to DMV and told them that my blood sugar was 99. 99 is a very good number if you're a diabetic. So now if I don't you know, hand in this paperwork, which I just want to go do. They're going to suspend my license and my boyfriend's going to have to drive me to work until I have it unsuspended. Um, which is completely ridiculous because these people in the police department need to be trained on other illnesses that are not just physical handicaps. So I'm being pinpointed for that. Um, I... Have a lot going on at home. My boyfriend's no longer allowed in my house because some precise details pertaining to the holidays, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, that really, that really hurts me because I. I do everything with John and he helps me with everything, every single thing. And um, now he's not allowed in my house for no reason, so that's ridiculous. My license is going to be suspended. Um, and, you know, Brittany died. And I'm still finding a hard, having a hard time dealing with that or just accepting it because I don't think I'm going to accept it for a while. It triggers me back to when Nicole died. Um, I just, I feel like, um, like my world's falling apart. Um, like, you know, I talk to Brittany every day, every other day. So it's kind of weird not messaging her, not getting a tag from her, or just tagging her in something, anything like that. Um, so the whole Brittany situation is kind of like, brought back, like, my depression pretty bad. Hi, Francesca. Um, I'll FaceTime you in a little bit. I, uh, I wanted to put a video up because DMV's trying to suspend my license. Brittany died. My pump isn't working. Um, everything, like, my pump won't work. It was fine before I got to work. Now it's not working, and I have to send it back. And... It's just too much is going on right now. So I came home. I'm going to try to like clean my room and coping skills. Like I'm going to maybe write I like singing, but you know, it's kind of hard to sing when you're like have no voice and you're really upset. Um I just feel like in a week, like, I lost so much, you know, 
I lost being able to see my boyfriend at my house, to have dinner with him, to just have him wake me up if I'm taking a nap or wake me up for work or something. I lost him being able to come to my house. It's really important to me. Um, so I'm looking for apartments. I lost him, but I didn't lose him in our relationship, but I just feel like, you know, it's not the same. Um, Brittany, it really hurts me because she was asking for help, and I had tried my best, and Kira had tried her best. We all did our best for her and her other friend, and that place just didn't care, and I don't understand <clears throat> how you don't care and you work in a place like that. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Like, if you work in a facility for people who need help and you don't care, you sincerely don't care, quit your day job. You don't belong there. Like, you make people wait five days to get help. Well, five days is too long. Like, you know, try to get back in, like, 24 hours at least most like you can't just let these people just wait and suffer and be in pain it's not right if it was their families they wouldn't they would be pissed too but maybe their families don't have any mental issues i'm not sure i really need to like smoke it's been hard i just i've been having a hard time getting out of bed i have so much to do I'm just kind of like down, like, you know, like, I wish that there was more that I could do, um, but I know I tried. I have to just reassure myself that I hope that she found, <laughs> sorry, I hope that she found what she was looking for in heaven. I'm upset because I'm not going to get, like, a memorial card for her, I'm sure. Um, it brings me back to when my friend Nicole died, and she was asking for help, too. And it's just really sad to watch, you know, people go through that. It's not, it's not okay. So, I've just been having a hard time getting out of bed. And, um, like, doing what I need to do. So, hi, Joe. Thanks. Yeah, it's just, actually, when she passed away, I called the facility and I told them, like, hi, my name is Tracy. You know, I'm calling on behalf of this person. And just so you know, like, you really need to evaluate your facility and your staff because... You said you would get back to somebody on Tuesday, and Tuesday never came. And I hope that they took it seriously, because it seems like whoever called, it didn't matter. None of these people cared. Like, they really should quit their day jobs. Um, it just feels weird not talking to her, because I talk to her a lot. Like, half of our conversations would be curse words. <laughs> I told her she had a New York attitude. Um, I don't know, it's just rough right now, so, like, if anyone needs to talk, just let me know. I'll do my best to get back to you. I, I usually work at a hospital, you guys know that. Um, I just, you know, like, don't do anything extreme. I'm, I'm okay, I'm just upset, like, my depression came back, like, hardcore. <laughs> And this triggered my PTSD hardcore because my other friend was 20. Yeah, like I, I agree, Joe. Like they really needed, they need to step their game up. I talked to a doctor and who actually answered the phone on Christmas Day. So maybe he, he said he would take a serious look into it. But I don't even know if I trust them. Um... At home, it's kind of rough. 
because, you know, John can't be here, but John's kind of what's been holding me together through all this and being discriminated against for having juvenile diabetes. I'm trying to take away my license because I crashed my car and my sugar was 99. Like, you're uneducated. I'm sorry, but the police department's uneducated. Um... Oh, thanks, <laughs> Lucy. I like hugs. I'm a hug person. Um, yeah, I don't like when people are like, oh, you're like, girls are pretty when they cry. There's a song about that. Like, shut up. <laughs> um, not you, Lucy, but like other people, you know. Um, I'm, I have a crisis center here, um, in Long Island. I forgot where they are. Um, but this is like their tag. It says, uh, crisis hotline. And, um, I was thinking of volunteering, you know, um, there. If I had the time, maybe on the weekends or maybe like overnights or something, just because I don't want the same thing to happen with somebody else who actually wants to live and has so much to give to people that it's taken away from them because they feel unworthy or they feel unloved or they feel uncared about and um yeah it just hurts so I'm gonna see like what I can do um since I went to work and I left I'm gonna try to uh get things done today. I am in the process of writing something too. I'm just trying to read a comment. Sorry guys. Oh Jody, yay, hi. Thank you. Um yeah. I think that'd be a really good idea. I mean I could probably call the center back today and ask, you know, what um what, what their facility is going to do about it, because I don't know if they're going to do anything about it. Um, so I'm going to try to get some stuff done today. Like, clean my room that's literally a mess. Um, and dealing with the fact that John's not allowed here, it's kind of hard because, like... <laughs> He's been holding me together through this. Like, I held him together when his ex-girlfriend died last Christmas. It was a week before, you know. Um, but we were friends at that time. I was still there for him. I just don't want to see another good person feel unworthy of being cared for or being loved or appreciated when they're already trying to help themselves and then the system just fails them like that. It's really just ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous. It makes me upset and it makes me mad. But, um, I am going to smoke and try to get some things done today. I did hand in the DMV paperwork. We'll see about the license suspension. Um, my pump, my diabetic pump won't work. So I had to leave work because my insulin's here. Um, which I was excited about not having to do morning insulin. But now the pump broke and I can't get it to troubleshoot with them on the phone. So um, I had to come home and do insulin anyway. So maybe it was a good thing. I was having a hard time at work anyway. Um, if people ask me, how was your holiday, how was this, and that, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm going to do some things, and, um, just, thanks for watching. Thank you, Jill. Um, it's just hard, because I've been through this before. You know, that's my third person to die from suicide, and I just...
I feel like whatever I do is not enough. You know, like, I know what happened the last time I talked to her. She, um, I told her that the cops were at my house because Friday the cops were at my house for a fight between my mom and my sister over the dog. So she just said, okay, I'm sorry. And the last words that she said to me were that she was sorry. But she didn't explain anything that was going on with her. She felt like it would be overwhelming for me. So she didn't say anything to me. Um, I, I'm sorry I'm crying. I'm like a mess. Like I just, it's probably better off that I didn't stay at work, you know. <laughs> Thank you. My dimples are something I get complimented on. You know, I did get whatever. I got best smile in high school. Um, my teeth are messed up, but that's because the diabetes. Um, but the smile, yeah. You know, dimples help. Um. Yeah, like Jody and. And Dora, like, I'm going to probably call them today and see if, if they made any changes. And Francesca, I just, I mean, I just feel like I could have done more, you know? Like, I know that as she was on her way out, my name was brought up. Like, two names were brought up before she passed away. And one of them was mine for, for helping her um, stay, stay that long. So I know that she thought of me, you know, right before she passed away. So that's, you know, at least I know that. Um, to all of you watching this, thank you. Um, for your support. If anybody needs anything, please message me. Um, I'm okay. I'm just, you know, grief comes in waves. So, I'm riding a wave right now. Um, good morning. Hi, uh, I'm here for everybody. And, uh, Kira's been a good help. Big help. Me and her and Brittany were good friends. All of us together from this group, and, um, I feel closer to people in this group than I do in my real life. Um, I feel like this group is kind of like my family, because obviously I lost mine, like, over the weekend. My godmother, who lives next door, she also told me she thinks that I fucked up my life. Sorry, I cursed, but I blanked up my life because I smoked pot and I'm like, I was, I'm not 16, I'm not 17 anymore, you know, it's for medicinal use, and she goes, I didn't want you to mess, mess up your life, and I looked at her and I said, I didn't, my life, and she turned and looked at me and goes, well, I think you did, so, and then she said she had things to do, and I had to leave. So I walked out of her house and came back to mine, but we live next door. And so since my mom's going crazy and stuff, kicking me and my sister out, me and her both got our own car plans. Well, I've had my own car insurance, but my sister got her own. We both got our own phone plans. I just need an apartment to get out of here. It's so hard being here. She's just to say mean things to me. She just, she said, like, she goes, like, in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, like, God, please don't let Tracy have children. You know, like, she, and I said, okay, Mom, like, you're never going to see your grandkids, you know? Like, 
I lost my friend. I lost my family for the most part. And I'm trying not to lose myself. So, um, it's kind of what's been going on. And then my diabetes thing wouldn't work. And then the license suspension thing. So everything's kind of happening all at once. Thank you, Robin. Thanks, Sarah Jessica. I just, there's so much going on that. I don't need another bad thing to happen because I'm just really stressed out and I'm really depressed, but I'm not like, you know, going to do anything stupid. I was in the same, what really hurts is something that I'm not, that I typically wouldn't say, but on Sunday, on Sunday I felt really upset and depressed and alone and whatever and um I was in the same mental state like as Brittany and what hurts me is that she died and I didn't and that's what makes it even harder so if you feel like you're losing it, or if you feel suicidal, or if you feel like you need somebody to reach out to and talk to, I'll do my best to get back to you all as soon as possible, especially today since I'm at home trying to do things. If I don't immediately respond, it does not mean I don't care. I care very much. Um, so I'm going to go smoke now. try to give myself some peace of mind and then like follow up with everyone later um so thanks for tuning in and I'll um I'll talk to you all <laughs> I said you all now cause of Kira cause Kira always says y'all I'll talk to everyone later um thank you and I love you guys and uh thanks for all your support Have a great day. Or try to.